Hey, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the channel. Bradley Divine here, here with you. Just about to do your reading, so perfect timing for you. Come on in, sit down, relax, grab your coffee, chill out. Let me shuffle these cards up here real quick, and we'll get into your message, okay? So, hope you all are doing well, enjoying yourselves. Just a little PSA. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on, and actually look at it, because it will say all notifications. Make sure that's engaged, okay? Because I just got a message somebody saying... <laughs> You know, they haven't seen a video in four weeks of their sign. And I'm like, that's absolutely crazy. So, just do me that favor. Anyways. Uh -oh. We're going to get right into it. It's a fabulous day. I hope you're having one yourself. Enjoying the weather. Well, where I'm at, it's 69 degrees. All right. You ready? Let's get into your messages here. Pull the two cards. There's the Sun card for your first one. Major Arcana. Big time event going on right now. This is your happiness. You're happy. You're feeling nurtured, right? Six of Swords. Looks like you're happy for moving away from something. Yeah. Definitely happy. Six of Swords is, you know, a smooth, easy, easy path ahead. But moving away, so... Uh, this could be something that could be ending your happiness or you're moving away with your happiness. We'll find out. Let's get to the story. All right. A couple cards here. This is your duality. This is your yin and your yang, your masculine, feminine side. This is why I do it. Six of Pentacles. Mm. You were giving too much. Plain and simple. You were giving too much. See? Giving. These people just take and take and take and. Right? So you're the giver to whoever in the situation or whatever in the situation. It could be work because there are the pentacles there. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. This is why you're moving away. Taking your happiness with you. <laughs> wow. How do you like that? That's way too many. It's damn near half the deck. All right. So six of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of tired of giving. These cards are all over the place right now, right? That's definitely significant. Emperor. Oh, what? So, this puts you in a higher level vibration. This makes you boss up, right? Emperor is the boss, an entrepreneur, authority, right? So this is definitely what it says to me that you're done giving to other people. This helps you elevate your vibration. This is why you're moving on with your happiness. What's this card? Yeah. Five of Wands is conflict, strife, arguments, confrontation, competition. All right. So because you raise your vibrations, this 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 kind of changes things, right? Because fives represent change, conflict. So the conflicts that you were going through with people taking from you has changed because you've raised your vibrations to the emperor and you don't take no shit. Basically. Okay. Nice. So you have success and victory over this conflict, this competition, which is really these people just taken from you. So it could be friends, it could be family, it could even be your work. It doesn't say anything about love out here, okay? So put that aside and let's keep on trucking. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Oh, <laughs> See, Queen of Swords, that's freaking beautiful. Look at her with her sharp ass sword. She's cutting things off. See, you cut out. See, this you cut out any kind of takers. You, you, I mean, this is all about taking. People are definitely taking from you. And you're cutting that all out because you you know you're the emperor. You you, you don't have to deal with this crap. You shouldn't be um dealing with these kind of people that are just like I said the takers and so you, you're definitely having victory and success in cutting off 
these people, these places, these things, right? But it's really people, okay? And I'm really feeling somewhere with a job or something that has to do with finances, right? Maybe you have people in your family that are old enough to support themselves and they're not and you're just giving to them and they keep taking, you know what I mean? So it could fit however it is in your situation. So just keep that in mind. And if things in the story don't relate, don't cut the story off because the message could be at the end of the vi at the video. So you'll miss your message. Here's your next card. Ace of Wands, look at that. Boom. Brand new opportunity coming in. Brand new opportunity. So because this Emperor also could be an entrepreneur, this now Ace of Wands could be a brand new passion project that's coming your way okay we'll find out it's like this is crazy because you cut off these people and now you got your hand out see your hand out there and this hand is giving this wand so it's like you're ready to take it right you're ready to accept it now because you raise your vibrations and you're in this emperor status There's your happiness. This will, this opportunity coming in for you definitely will make you very, 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 capital, very happy. <laughs> right? You like that one? All right. Hit the like button for me. There you go. You have options, right? There's definitely going to be options with you um, bringing this to uh, fruition. Like, so once the opportunity is presented to you, you're going to be very happy, but you're also going to have options in how to handle and approach and take care of it right i'm all sloppy this morning yeah because there's a mix of things in these cups right cups is your emotions right and so there are definitely options for you to be able to um you know bring this to life and right? bring it to life this new opportunity queen of cups look at you mm. You do it all by yourself. She's all by herself. I mean, you might, you know, um, get into your emotions a little bit. Maybe you might have some mixed emotions about this. this is why the Queen of Cups is out. But trust your intuition, right? Because you have the Queen of Swords. She's very, mm, very intuitive. Same with the Queen of Cups. But what I noticed is that you have the Emperor out here, right? This is you raising your vibration, right? And now I have two Queens on the board. You have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. You know what that means? You're getting close to balancing your duality. Duality. The light side, the dark side, the masculine, the feminine side. You get it now? Good. Told you you're gonna do it by yourself. See, single, abundant, very, ooh. You're gonna achieve some kind of very, very good stability with this, with this new project, right? New opportunity. And it could be starting a business. We'll see. It feels that way. It feels like you could be starting a business. And this is an opportunity now being presented to you to actually take what was passionate that you had and now accept the opportunity and, and, and take advantage of it, right? Yeah, see, burdens, boom, wounded warrior. You're still strong to fight all this, even though whatever, you know, confrontations and arguments and takers and shit like that uh, done it's all behind you yeah this is really good ooh I like it. look at lover's card boom that's a duality yeah interesting now that I see this it could be an opportunity for some of you for a new twin flame well not a new twin flame but a twin flame But for the most of you, it's going to be, you're you're going to put any kind of burdens that are going to come with this project behind you and you cut off the shit that's not going to fit or work, right? And this gives you much happiness. But you're trying to like feel out all the options, right? You're feeling out all the options. But you're still, I think with that, oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> I think with the nine of wands here, He's holding that one wand. That one wand is 
I feel the lover's card. So you're holding on to this passion, this project, this opportunity to re to really maybe express yourself, even though I have no pages out here, express yourself about maybe some of the things that you've you've done in your life, some of the past burdens and situations and competition and just takers that maybe you need maybe this is part of the project right maybe that is the project maybe you need to write a book maybe you need to do a platform like this right but it is definitely speaking of talking of things because queen of swords swords is communication in your mind so i think you're going to be speaking about things that you have been challenged with in a competitional state that you've been able to put behind you, right? And really stand firm to keep fighting that fight. And this is some of the life experiences. I think that you are now having the opportunity to express and stand in your power. I don't know. Sounds like it to me. Let's keep going. Let's get to your outcome. We're going to get two cards here for your outcome, right? There's two cards at the beginning, two cards at the end. It's all about duality, my friends. This is an investment that you are going to plant seeds for sure and watch that shit grow. Mm, mm, mm. That's juicy. I like it. Making my mouth water. And that's the change in transformation. Let me get one more card after this death card. Curious. <laughs> King of Cups, go home. You're worth it. You're worthy, right? And now you're going to be totally emotionally sound, stable, and solid because of this new opportunity coming in for you. Because you eliminated people, places, and things that were causing strife, arguments, competition, that they were you know, just taking straight from you all the time. And you're like happy to give, right? But once you cut that shit off, a new opportunity opens right up for you. And it's gold, dynamite. You'll be very successful. But like I said, I really think it's about your life experiences that you need to express. This is possibly the opportunity that's coming in for you. Rawr! That has been your reading, my friends. I appreciate your time and your energy. Hit that like button, subscribe. Please turn on the notifications. Make sure all notifications are enabled. Having issues with that yet again. Very highly disappointed in the platform that's supposed to be regulating that. And they told me, if you do three more videos, well, then they kind of turn off your notifications. That's why people don't get those videos, and I have it in the email to prove it. So I think it's wrong for us as creators. Some are more energetically creative than others, so we want to do more for y'all. And they're going to really sit there and tell me in the email that they cut that shit off? Well, maybe that's why people aren't getting it, because now they're controlling it. Just saying, I love when you control my creativity because that ain't fair. Nevertheless, my friends, hit that like button and subscribe. Be blessed. Be brave. Have yourself a fantastic day. And I'll see you later. <laughs>